a lot of people want to be their own boss, but is that the right decision for them? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So a lot of people strive to be their own boss. They want to take on the role of a leader. They want to grow their own business. Something like I do and my wife has a side hustle that she does. And here's there's some advantages and then there's some disadvantages to doing that. We're going to talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages right now. So let's talk about some of the advantages. Well, the advantages are you get to lead yourself, right? You get to be your own boss. You get to run your own company and it's great. And now it's great at one point, but sometimes people want to become the boss so much that they actually are just doing another job and they're just running, they're owning their own job. Like they're, I'm an entrepreneur, but I own my own job and I only make money when I'm there. Business leaders put more energy into the business than employees do. And a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people jump in and say, I'm gonna be my own boss, I'm gonna run my own company, I'm gonna do things different, whatnot. When they start leading the company, they start going, whoa, this isn't as much fun as I thought it was going to be. So people wanna just jump in to be their own business sometimes and they don't really understand it. So they really need to understand what's gonna happen in there. Like if you wanted to be a Chick-fil-A operator, understand that you're going to be working there for six days a week. You are the owner operator, you are there. You get one day off a week to spend time relaxing, but you're there, you're there to grow it. You don't get to go and franchise it out and get a whole bunch of different franchises. So you are basically owning your job because you're there, you, you have to be there. That's one of their rules. And a lot of franchises, you only make the money when you, you know, go into work. So you have to understand that you're going to be running the job and you're gonna be the employee as well. So a lot of people just get into that myth that I'm an entrepreneur, I own my own company, but they're actually just owning their own job. That's one of the disadvantages if you own your own job, right? Because if you're not there, you get sick, you get hurt, you don't make money. So you need to be able to grow it. And the way you do that is you do it slow over time. Don't take a whole bunch of debt out. You want to do it over time. And by doing that over time, you will be able to start hiring in employees and paying them. And when tough times happen, which they will, you'll be able to pay them and move forward still. But if we get too leveraged, we're going to have extra stressors, which are going to wear us out, which is going to affect our relationships with people. And it's not going to be fun. Now, I know I'm saying a lot of stuff that scares people, but sometimes people should not be their own boss and be their own entrepreneur. They should just have a job with a paycheck because they're not ready. Doesn't mean that they can't ever in the future do that, but you should really understand how it works. And that's why I think side hustles are fantastic. You can grow that up on the side while you're doing your day job. Yeah, it's a little bit more energy but the more you start selling, you can start snowballing effect, right? It goes big snowball starts going down the hill, but it doesn't start big, it starts small. But as over time, you can start growing it to where you can walk away from your day job and become your own business owner in the future where you have employees. It's kind of like getting the boat closer to the dock. You don't want it wide away trying to jump onto the boat. You want it close as possible before you take that leap. So by doing those things, you'll be able to be successful. And leaders and business owners need to constantly be growing their capacity. That's right, they have to work harder than most people. Most people that jump into being an entrepreneur don't realize that they're working harder than all the other employees in the business. And one, in, one business that I know really well, the gentleman still works and he's been doing this for over 40 years and he's doing 90 hours a week. He's working harder than everybody. When everybody's at home with their friends and family, he's flying to another location to try to grow that business. You gotta understand, you're going to do more work. There's no easy street when you start building your own company. But if you do it right, 
you're gonna have so much more benefit. You're gonna be able to look back and go, look at what I've built. Now, if you're just trying to get into business to make a whole bunch of money and think that that's just gonna happen, it's not. Their real life is different. Just like in a relationship, everybody puts forth their best effort at the very beginning, but when time goes on, you start seeing all those skeletons in the closet, especially in business, you're going to find those things. So take time, invest in learning about businesses, go and do some business classes, go learn from some people in those areas, maybe go work for one of the franchises to learn about if that's something that you want to do. Maybe it's doing roofing. Go work with those roofers to learn how they do the business so you can go launch your own business in the future and be successful. Learn from the best. Go into groups. Go get trainings in those industries to be successful. Spend and invest in yourself to grow yourself. Don't just jump into it and think you're just going to be successful. You're going to take a lot of work. All right. Now, if you have any more questions about starting your own business, feel free to reach out. My contact information is below. If this video is helpful, hit like, share, subscribe, send it to somebody you think it might benefit. Because that's why I do these videos, to help you. We'll see you next time.